Hi everyone, Kevin here. Today we're gonna take a first look at some brand new functionality that's landing in Word Online, and that is Transcribe. Now you might be thinking, haven't I been able to speak and have the computer convert that into text for a long time? And yeah, that's called Dictate. So Word, Google Docs, all these different applications support dictation where you could talk in real time and it'll convert it into text. With Transcribe, the unique thing here is you can record your audio ahead of time. So let's say you have your phone and maybe you're conducting, let's say an interview, maybe you're sitting in a lecture and you record the audio. You can take that audio file, upload it into Word Online and get a transcription of all of the conversation. And even better, let's say there are multiple speakers with this new transcribe feature, it'll identify different speakers. We're gonna take a look and I'll show you how it works. Now, two caveats before we jump into this. First off, it only works in Word Online. It's gonna to come to the desktop app soon. And the second one, you need a premium Microsoft 365 account. If you get Microsoft 365 through work or school, you should be set. If you have a consumer account, you have to have a subscription to take advantage of this. All right, let's jump on the PC and check this out. Here I am on my PC, and to be able to use Transcribe, we need to log into Word Online. To get to Word Online, head to the website office.com, and once you land on office.com, click on sign in. Once you sign in, you'll land on the authenticated version of office.com. This site, I really love it. This is what I used to work on when I was still at Microsoft. On office.com, let's click on Word. This drops us on the Word start page. You could click on an existing document or go ahead and jump into a new blank document. I'm gonna jump into a new blank document. This opens up a blank canvas and let's jump in and I'll show you how we could use Transcribe. To use Transcribe, you wanna make sure you jump into the Home tab and within the Home ribbon, all the way over on the right-hand side, you'll see the option for Dictate. Now Dictate, like I said before, has been around for a while, but you now have the addition of a drop down menu to the right of it. And when you click on this, you'll see the option for transcribe. Now you might be wondering what is the difference between dictate, and I wanna quickly demonstrate what the difference is. When I click on dictate, here you'll see that a control opens up at the bottom where I can start dictating. And as I speak, you'll see that my text is showing up on the Word document as I speak. I'm gonna turn off dictation now. So basically what it does is it takes your speech in real time and converts it into text. Unfortunately, you're not always gonna have Word Online with you. Let's say you're conducting an interview, you're sitting in a lecture, and you wanna record it, but you don't necessarily say wanna open a laptop. That's where Transcribe comes in. Let's go back up to the Dictate menu and let's see how Transcribe works. I'm gonna click on the second option called Transcribe. When I click on transcribe, this opens up a pane on the right hand side. And first off, it tells me what types of audio files that I can upload. Now these are all the typical or standard audio files like MP3 or a WAV file. Now another caveat, I know all these caveats, but it's currently only available in English. It's coming to other languages soon. Within transcribe, I have two different options and we're gonna go through both of them to see how they work. First off, I can upload audio. So so if I pre-recorded this and now I want to transcribe the audio, I can upload it here. I also have the option to start recording. We're going to come back to that in a moment to see how that works. But first, let's jump into upload audio. When I click on upload audio, this opens up the Windows file picker. And with the file picker, you can navigate to where you have the audio file on your computer. Let's say you recorded it on your mobile phone, transfer it to your computer first, and then access it through the file picker. I'm gonna click on this file called transcribe and open. Once I click on open, Word Online will go through and it'll transcribe my audio file. And along with that, it also uploads a copy to OneDrive. So I have history or a record of that audio file that I transcribed. Word Online has now finished transcribing the file for me and I wanna walk through what we see here. First off, I see that it's uploaded the file to OneDrive. When I click on this, I can preview the file in OneDrive. Hi, thank you so much. If I jump back into Word Online, a few other things here. Here I could see that my audio file is 17 seconds long. I have my typical playback controls. I could adjust the speed if I wanna to listen to the entire thing faster or slower. I could play, jump forward or back and adjust the volume. Now, 
this is the richness of transcribe down below. Here I can see a transcription of all of the audio and here it also identified different speakers. I'm gonna play the audio and we could see how effective it was at the transcription. Hi, thank you so much for joining me, Kevin with a deeper voice. How are you doing today? Oh, I'm doing fantastic. Thanks for having me. You know, it's so nice when you have subscribers on for an interview and they say positive things about your channel. Just kidding. Both speakers are actually me, your humble host, Kevin. All I did was I lowered my pitch a little bit on speaker two. Now I want to walk through some of the things that we saw here. Now, first off, Word Online groups these by speaker. So you see speaker one, then you have speaker two come on, speaker one again, and then speaker two again. Now speaker two doesn't really describe that well who it was. If I click on this edit icon, I can adjust the name of speaker one. And for this case, speaker one is just me, Kevin, and I'm gonna change all references to speaker one to say Kevin, then I'm gonna hit the check mark. Now you'll see that every reference changed to Kevin. I'm gonna do the same thing with speaker two and call this Kevin with a deeper voice. So I've updated all of the speakers, so now I know who's speaking when. One of the things I can do as well, when I click on the timestamp, that'll start playing the audio from that point so I could just hear this piece of the text. Let's test this out. Oh, I'm doing fantastic. Thanks for having me. So. Now, one of the things you'll see is as it was going through and it was saying, oh, I'm doing fantastic, thanks for having me. Here it looks like the transcription misunderstood that and it inserted main. Luckily, I could very easily go in and I can edit that. If I click on the edit icon again, here it brings up the text and instead of saying main, I'm gonna just update this to say me. And once I'm done, I'm gonna click on the check mark. Now, overall, the transcription quality is pretty good. It breaks it up by speaker. I see all of my text here. What can I do with it now? Well, the nice thing is I could either use a snippet of the text. So once again, when I hover over here, I see this plus icon. I can add just this section into my Word document. Alternatively, down below, I can also add all of it to my document. Let's click on this to see how that works. Once I click on add all to document, here it inserts the audio file. So I have a quick link back to the MP3 file and I can listen to that. And then down below, I see my transcript. So it lists out the speaker and then the text that the speaker said. So this is a pretty nice transcript and it really simplifies taking say an interview or a lecture and converting it to text. And it's also a lot quicker to scan if let's say I wanna go back and see what was discussed. Back on the main transcribe pane, I have a second option and I mentioned we would come back to it and it's called start recording. Let's click on this and see what it does. When I click on start recording, this is now recording me speak. I could go through and I could pause the recording and then I could go ahead and resume the recording again. Now, you might be wondering, well, how is this different from Dictate? The key difference is I could continue working on my Word document, so maybe I go through and I'm typing text, and I could do this all while, let's say, sitting in a lecture, and so maybe I'm recording the professor, and maybe I'm taking some notes on the side. Once I'm all done, I'm gonna click on the pause button, and then I'll save and transcribe now. As you can see here, this effectively works the same way as when you upload a file. You're simply using Word Online as the audio recorder. Here, there was only one speaker speaking, so you see that it just identifies speaker one, and I have all the same controls that we looked at earlier. When you start using the Word Online Transcribe feature, Word Online will create a new folder in your OneDrive called Transcribed Files, and within here, you'll see MP3s or WAVs for all the different files that you either record through Word Online or the files that you upload to Word Online using the Transcribe feature. All right, well, that was a first look at the new transcribe feature in Word Online. In the comments down below, let me know what you think. Is this something that you're gonna use to transcribe some of your audio recordings? If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this in the future, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if you wanna see me cover any other topics in the future, leave a comment down below. That's how I build my list of videos to create. All right, well, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time. Bye.